Hello everybody, this is King Chiggy here, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Sacred Gold. Today we will be leaving Azalea Town behind after getting the Hive Badge and beating Bugsy into the dirt. And, wait, where are we going? Oh, gotta go to the shop, gotta get balls, because we are heading into the Ilex Forest. Now, I'm doing this tonight because there are a couple good Pokemon I want to catch here. And after we get through everything in the forest, we'll be on our way to getting into Goldenrod City. So, let's get some Pokeballs here, and then we'll be on our merry way. Do do do, just heading on out of the out of town, heading on over, heading on up in the world. Go through the pointless little house dealio. And now we are. Oh! Already a Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, a Spinarak! Well, those are always nice. Even though I completely despise spiders, Spinarak I actually like. It's actually a nice Pokemon. And it's got Nightshade. That is useful. I mean, right now it only does 15 damage because it's only level 15, but. <laughs> when you get up in the world and you level it up and it's like level 60 toward the Pokemon League and it's doing 60 some damage with Nightshade alone and one ball spin a rat caught. Alright. Let's get it into Pokedex. Yep, there it is. And then sending it off to the PC. And go away Professor Oak. I don't care. Oh, you lost your far-fetched. How could you? Terrible person. You should not be allowed to have Pokemon. You suck. I mean, there's a Pineco. Should I catch it? Should I catch it? I'm, I might try to catch it. I don't know. I think I should catch it. Yeah, let's go ahead and catch it. Who doesn't like a Pineco? Pineco are awesome. Plus, it's got Bug Bite. Look at that. It's already got a move that's got, like, 65 power. That's pretty rare this early in the game. And, oh, never mind. It decided to explode in my face. Oh well, didn't do that much. And... Level up for Croconaw! Yes! Level 23! Although its HP is down pretty far right now. Oh well. And there's the far-fetched, if... As anyone should know if they've played this game. Well, at least the remake. You have to step on the sticks to make it face a direction. And then you have to sneak up behind it and grab it. Otherwise, it'll just run all over the place. And that was overkill on the pairs. Oh well. One day, I shall catch one of those things. Just because it's one of the rare Pokemon that can learn the move Spore. Which is, in fact, an awesome move. Ooh, another Spinarak. Too bad I already caught one of you. I don't need you anymore. I can just disregard you. Yeah. Take that. Oh, come on. I just want to get up there and grab the Farfetch'd. Oh! Okay, this is one of the Pokemon I'm looking for, Mistrevious. Just because Miss Magus is an awesome ghost type. But the thing is, that I feel that there are some Pokemon that are just meant to be females, and some that are just meant to be males. And I feel like Mistrevious and Miss Magus are Pokemon that should be female. So I'm not gonna catch this one. Call me sexist if you want to. I just want a female Miss Magus. So I'll probably be searching for that all night. And I caught the far-fetched. And now... Oh no, you have another? Come on. Take better care of your Pokemon. Alright, down here, we got us a revive. Useless if you're doing a Nuzlocke, but since this isn't a Nuzlocke... Ooh, a Buneary! Now, that's another one of the Pokemon that I think should always be female. I mean, if you look at Lopunny, 
it, it's obvious why it should be female. I mean, I know people that think that, you know, that's... That it just doesn't matter, but if, if you just look at it, it looks like it should be a female. So, that's how I'm going to keep it. This Paneri is actually pretty good. It's got the dizzy punch. I I honestly don't see the point of foresight, other than allowing fighting types to hit ghost types. There's I I just don't see what else it does. It's kind of pointless. It's one of those moves that if it pops up, I will never teach it. Oh, and another Paris. Should I go overkill on this one? I think I might. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's go overkill. I mean, honestly, how much could Nice Fang do? Never mind, it's gone. <laughs> oh, well, at least Croconaw's getting up those levels. Alright. I got to spook it into the right place. And then... Ooh, there's the other one. The Murkrow. Now, I don't know if there's any other place in the game that you can find these. I remember that in the original Gold and Silver, you had to wait until you got over to the Kanto region to catch Murkrow, because somehow that's the only place you could find them. But they're here, and maybe in the Safari Zone? I'm not sure. But I plan to catch both it and Miss Magus before... or Miss Drevious before I leave this forest. And now I gotta... I gotta trick the Farfetch again! Oh, there's another Baneri. I think I can beat it. Yeah, I can take it. Plus, Crocodile wants to get up to level 24. I know it's... St oh, never mind. Running. Oh, come on. The encounter rate in this forest is too damn high. Ooh, a Venonat! You know, that's... That's something that I've looked into. Venonat, if you look at its face, and you compare it to Butterfree, they have the same face, the same antenna, and even their limbs look the same. And yet they're completely unrelated in any way. Why... I, I, just, I just don't get it. I mean... Here you have two completely different Pokemon that look related, but they're in no way connected other than being the same type and the same generation. I don't know, but that is a caught Venonet. Probably have a Venomoth at some point. Actually, that's guaranteed. I will have a Venomoth at some point if I'm gonna try to fill up the decks on this game. <laughs> oh, I need to sleep more at night. Alright, now we got it facing this way, and we'll probably run into about ten more Pokemon on the way back to its backside. Including another Paris. This, this Paris just needs to go away. Yep, who would have guessed it? Status afflicted. Eight minutes in. Nine minutes in. Eight minutes, 57 seconds in. I don't know. Ooh, I forgot about the phrase for people. Alright. I'm going to give you a phrase at some point during the video. And if you've actually watched that far in, I want you to comment that phrase in the comment section so I can see how many people actually get that deep into the video. I know not a lot of people will do it, but it's it's an experiment. And there we go, we got the last far-fetched, and then the guy's boss comes up probably to fire his butt. Oh, you're, you're not even gonna punish the kid? Come on, he lost your workhorses. So instead of punishing him, you're gonna give me a, a 
present, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I, I did help you out. I, I saved your job. Should have given me money. And there I can misclick. Oh. oh, sorry about the yawn. There I misclicked. Uh, cut is going to go on uh, uh, slack off. And as I said before, if you saw it there, they change or he changed the typing of cut to be a grass type move. So do what you want with that. And. It is poofed. Get rid of Encore. I don't really like that move. I mean, it can be helpful if you lock someone into the right move. But, you know, there are those times when... Oh, he used, like, Shadow Ball or Flamethrower, and then you Encore them into it, and then you're like, ah, damn. Ooh, ooh, who's that? Is that... Is that Gardenia? Ivysaur, Vine Whip. Oh yes, that feels good. It's incredible. What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 Gardenia, what what are you doing? Um Um oh, okay. Um sure, I'll take grass knot. Just um uh did did I just witness bondage, Croconaw? Um yeah, I'm I'm a little worried too. Uh let's let's just get the hell out of here. Yeah. This this forest has been tainted. I, I Gardenia, you're just don't don't come back. Don't ever come back to Johto. You and your bondage Ivy Sword just just go away. Oh jeez, that is going to be so awkward when I get into Sinnoh. Wow, thank you, Oddish, for knocking out Croconaw after he had to witness that horrible sight. Well, at least you put him out of his misery. Yeah, sure, go with Slack Off. He can take this Oddish, no problem. Uh, and it's gonna try to get me on acid. Thank you, Oddish. Not only did you take out my starter, but you're also trying to get my slack off to do drugs. Oh, sure, you try to drug me, and then you just go in for the kill. <sighs> what is Pokemon coming to these days? I thought this was a kid's game. Oh, sigh. At least I got the Oddish. I know I'm gonna need to get two of them because I need a Blossom and a Vile Plume. Don't know which one will come first. Maybe I'll just get two and then I'll train them both at the same time. I'm still looking up uh, when exactly to evolve things. Because, you know, like, Vile Plume learns moves like in the 30s, and that's basically it, but uh, Gloom learns moves up through the 40s, so I could just get Gloom all the way up and then use Heart Scales to relearn moves on it. Same with all the other Pokemon, but that would mean I'd need a lot of Heart Scales, and as far as I know, they're not just sitting around in this game. I mean, I could do the Pokeathlon. I'm pretty sure you get Heart Scales from that, but that would take a long, long Frickin' time. Oh, and here's another Oddish. Let's just go ahead and get this one. Get it under wraps. Come on. Come on, Pokeball. There you go. Yeah. Got me another plant on drugs. No, I'm not gonna name it. Just, just send it to the box. I'm gonna have a lot of filled boxes after this. Dude, I just witnessed someone doing bondage. Don't don't start humping trees, man. I 
I'm not even gonna talk to you. Ooh, another Baneri. Let's let's try to catch this one. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Are we gonna catch it? Yeah, let's catch it. Oh, you, you can't quick attack. I'm quick attack. You can't out quick attack my quick attack. That's just a jerk move. For that, get your poofy little ears in the ball. Yeah. Yes, alright. Baneri caught. That's another one. I still need to get, um, uh, uh, Murkrow and Mistrevious, and wow, I completely forgot that I was gonna go through and read off what you could find in here. Well, you've pretty much seen all, well, most of it. You can still catch, uh, Pikachu and Butterfree and Beedrill, along with their pre-evolutions, or at least, at least Metapod and Kakuna during the day. And as you just saw there, the Woodland Ore, you can use that to evolve Eevee into Leafeon. And then, what else is here? During the morning, you can pretty much get the same things, except not Mistrevious, or Spinarak, or Honchcrow, or Murkrow, not Honchcrow. Um, you can catch, uh, Dustox and Beautifly, only in the morning. And then you can catch Silcoon and Cascoon all day. <laughs> well, we got ourselves a Paris. That's a nice addition. I'll have to evolve that at some point. <laughs> now let's, let's hurry on out of here. I can always, ooh, well, hello. What are you doing here, kimono girl? Stop dancing in the trees, this place is full of weirdos. And I am not lost. I saw the exit right over there. See, Staravia is even smart enough to know where it is. You were looking in that direction at one point. Come on, you should see the open path. <sighs> These kimono girls supposing to be behind the storyline and be incredibly smart. That one, she is a few fries short of a Happy Meal. But oh well, let's... Oh, what do we got here? Something good, something good, something good? Nope, just not ish. Alright. I say we just forget this one. Nope, we're not going to forget it. Alright, let's just attack it and be done with it. Because I don't want you, Oddish. Evil. Pure evil. You're just more points for Staravia. And here I said, okay, now we're on the move again. Yeah, let's, let's keep touring around. There's a bug catcher down there in the trees. I'll have to come back here and talk to him after I get Surf, which I'll probably forget to do until, you know, actually I'll probably just forget it. I tend to forget a lot of things, but I can't seem to get these Oddish out of my hair. Holy cow. Give me something different. These things are just annoying. <laughs> Professor Oak, I don't care that you notice I'm filling up my Pokedex. You don't need to call me and say, Hey, I noticed you were filling up your Pokedex. Did you know you could walk in caves and find Pokemon? Well, d no, I walked through the Union Cave and... <laughs> I didn't run into a single thing. Yeah, Professor Oak gets some of the most useless advice. Hey, don't use your bike in a building! Well, <laughs> no, duh. Come on, Staravia, stop being paralyzed. Oh, come on! 
three paralyzations in a row. That's just... that's just cheating. You know what? Forget it. I, I don't want to battle you anymore. Just gonna keep searching around, and hopefully I'll get what I'm looking for, and then I can leave. Nope, just another Paris. Okay. Just <laughs> keep giving me stuff I don't want. That's fine. It's not like I can't beat it. Oh, I should have fast forwarded this part. Oh, I should have slept more last night, too. Oh well. What can you do? Alright, but that's another Paris taken out. We'll keep searching because Daddy needs a new crow. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it. I want to keep using Staravia, but. Alright, Spinarak, you're starting to get on my nerves, too. Take your cookies and your webs. Go hang out with Spider Man. And leave me alone. Alright? Just go away. Just go, go, go. Thank you. Now, be gone. Bye bye. Hasta la vista. See you later. Not a lot of points, but, you know, every point helps. Yeah, why not? Kabuskin can take care of things. We're just walking around the forest. Please be something good. Please be something good. Oh, another pine cone. <laughs> yeah, I can take this. Oh, I, I really hate protect. It, it's so annoying, and somehow Pokemon get it off all the time, and yet when I try to use it, it only works once. I mean, I've when I was playing Black 2, I don't remember who I was battling, but there was a part where I battled someone, and they used Protect like four times in a row. And that was, that was just not fun at all. It was quite annoying. Oh, come on, come on, I, I just, I just want a Murkrow and a Mistrevious. Why is that so much to ask for? Come on, Ilex. You know I love you. Actually, I will have to come back here at some point because I need to catch Celebi. Or Celebi, or however you want to say it. I call it Celebi. Because... <laughs> It's down there in the shrine where you get it. I know that there's uh, been a lot of events that could happen at that little shrine. I know in Gold and Silver there was supposed to be a GS ball that you could get from an event that you could take and you could put it into the shrine and you would encounter Celebi, but I don't think they ever actually did it, so... I'm pretty sure that back then there was really absolutely no way to get Celebi at all. Unless you cheated. But who cheats, honestly? And then in the original Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you could take the event Celebi that was given out. I think it was either Wi Fi or you could go to GameStop and get it, something like that. I don't know, but you could take that Celebi and go to the shrine and you would go back in time and fight Giovanni. And then also you could take the Pikachu colored Pichu or just a shiny Pichu, what I call it, to that shrine and you would encounter the spiky eared Pichu. And it would say that the Pichu was carried through time and it's like 30 years old or something and you would get to keep it. I never got the spiky-eared peach, Pichu. I wanted it. I mean, it was it was a cool Pichu. I mean, who doesn't want a spiky-eared Pichu? Come on, Pike, go catch, catch, do it for the Pichu. Oh, sad now. And another self-destruct. Thank you, Pineco. 
exploding all over my chicken. And you knocked it out. Of course it's a critical hit. Combuskin, you're like a magnet for critical hits. I'm not even joking. Oh well. I swore I would not leave without the bird and the ghost. And I will get them. Even if I have to stay here for another 50 episodes saying absolutely nothing and boring the crap out of all of you. I will achieve my goal. No matter how many Paris get in my way. Oh well, at least I know Espeon can take all of them. Because Espeon is a boss. The boss. Spion got 150, and level 23! Awesome! And it's wanting to learn Power Gym, which is a new addition to its moveset. I think it's an awesome addition. I mean, I don't have any Rock-type moves on my team so far, so Power Gym is welcomed with open arms. I'm pretty sure it'll come in handy later on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, a Murkrow! Woo! Alright, let's get this thing. And see? Power gem. Although that might be too much. Nope, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Just, aw, crap. Okay, we'll get the next one. We can sit here and continue to search. Because I know you guys love it. Walking around at the speed of sound, got places to go, gotta f Okay, another battle. What do we got this time? Something good? Something? Nope, just a spin rack. I already have you. There needs to be a way where I can just turn off certain wild Pokemon. Just turn off all the spin rack, all the Oddish, all the Paris. Give me something different. Give me something good. I already caught all of you. I don't want you anymore. Oh, and there's my game glitching out. So, I guess that'll be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Peace.